Sports on Air. How was it now for you? You know, you lost the quarterfinals and then you struggle and fight for the seventh place. Uh, were you able, you know, to motivate yourself uh, to play that, those games? Yeah, I mean, I think the first one was really difficult because it was like we didn't have you know, 24 hours emotionally, physically, mentally to recover from being knocked out of the tournament that we wanted to actually try to win. Uh, so I think, you know, today we had a day off in between and we were just able to say, like, you know what, guys, let's just go out there and fight. And then, uh, you know, overall, the tournament, in our eyes, was a success. You know, we don't think anyone really expected us to come to this point, and especially with, you know, the injuries that we had, Manu and John Char, in the beginning of the summer, at the end of, the end of last season. And, uh, and that season for Edu at the beginning of the summer for John Char. Uh, I think we surprised a lot of people just to get to this point. And we have to be happy that we fought. And obviously, the game against Canada didn't go how we wanted, but at the same time, you know, I think we be proud of her. As an American, what are you saying to Canada, USA playing for the bronze medal and the European final? <laughs> uh, no, I think it's I think it's not necessarily a bad thing. I think it's a good thing to, to see, you know, Germany and, and Serbia fighting because that really kind of shows the people in the U.S. Uh, that what level of basketball there is outside of the U.S. And, I mean, being over in Europe for a long time, I realized I know that, and I know people that is this, but I mean, as an American, I know growing up there, you expect, oh, we should just win every time, it's embarrassing, and it's not, it's not embarrassing, Germany's a good team, Lithuania's a good team, it's not, it's not an embarrassing thing, it's, these teams are really competitive, and the uh, USA really had a great team, but you know, anyone can lose, it's not, there's not such a big gap as there used to be. Thank you and hope to see you again in uh, Slovenia. Thank you. Mike, 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 you were the opponent of um, Gigi Tatum in his retirement game. How's it like that you faced Gigi in his final game? Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, Gigi's a, a legendary player, you know. Uh, now being in Europe for a bunch of years, I realized, you know, just the effect that he's had on the game. And uh, to be part of his last game is, is, is really cool, you know. I think uh, I never got to play with him, but I've always respected his game. And, you know, I've had a lot of guys that were teammates with him and just the stories. Like I said, he's a legendary player, so uh, European basketball is definitely going to miss a legend. Right, so, what is one thing that you want to emulate from the Thomas Illustrious career that you want to bring to your own career moving forward? Yeah, I mean, he had a very successful career. I think everybody wants to try to win. Uh, so I think, you know, the success he had, the longevity of, you know, the level he was able to, how he was able to play at the top level for such a long time is something really special. Now that his career is done, now everyone's now looking forward to, to your team, Mr. Luka and John Cho. How is it like that somehow this game is a passing of a torch team for both Luka and Gigi? Um, I don't really understand the question. I mean, this could be the passing of a torch game between Gigi and Lucas. How is it like that? There is somehow the, the change of the baton in, from Gigi to Luca. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, I think they're both uh, amazing players. You know, I think Gigi's had an amazing career, and Luca, you know, is still very much in the beginning of his amazing career as well. Um, can you say um, a reaction about the crowd because uh, the Filipino fans are cheering for you and uh, it looks like you're the home team? Yeah, no, I mean, the Filipino fans were amazing for us. We were really, uh, really happy that they came out and supported as they did. Every game that we played here felt like a home game, like you said. So uh, I think that was really cool. Obviously, I think, you know, they're huge Luka fans, so that, that, that helps that we have a superstar of the tournament. But, uh, you know, it was definitely amazing to have those fans. Are you surprised that the crowd is to me tonight is almost the same as last night's semifinal? Because it's 10 7 7 5 tonight, and last it was 11 0 1 1. Sorry? The, the, the crowd estimate tonight is almost the same as last night's USA ah, Germany game. Ah, really? Yes. Wow, that's awesome. That just shows the star power of Luka, I think. <laughs> so, one question from Roy. Yes, so, questions. as you head towards the Olympic qualifying tournament, what are the building blocks that you will bring with the experience that you have in this tournament? Yeah, I mean, I think we have an experienced team, and um, uh, 
uh, I mean, we have to see the group and everything like that, if everything plays out. It's still pretty early to talk about the Olympic, Olympic qualifiers, but obviously, you know, we want to go to the Olympics. So. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. Habang mainit ang mga laman sa ating mga paboritong liga, mag-register sa 1xbet. Pwede nyo gamitin ang inyong browser or ang cellphone mapa Android man o iOS. Gamitin lang ang inyong mobile number at huwag kalimutan ilagay sa promo code ang 1x on air. Kapag ginawa nyo yan, pwede kayo magkaroon ng bonus up to 7,000 pesos. Pwede nyo gamitin ang GCash account nyo para makapag-deposit or mag-cash out. Simple lang, di ba? Kaya mag-register na sa 1xbet. Thank you for watching. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified with our latest videos.